A very warm welcome to the latest Free Church of Scotland webcast. I'm deputising today for Donny G MacDonald, our moderator. Uh, let me just take this opportunity to thank Donny on your behalf. Donny has ministered to us over the last few months. Donny has got such a pastor's heart. He is able to rejoice with those who rejoice, but also able to weep with those who weep. And we do pray for him and his ministry in Portree. Speaking of Portree, uh, I don't have the advantage of a stunning backdrop of the island of Skye. So haven't we enjoyed these great vistas of a beautiful island over the last few months? Behind me is a vista, but it's not the misty isle. It's the rather perhaps smoky rooms of the Scottish government here at Holyrood. My theme for this uh, little broadcast is that of power. When we think of government and power, what is the role of the church? Well, it's a couple of roles. We must first of all have a prophetic role. We, we speak truth to power. There are things that happen in the building behind me that are not good. We're concerned about threats of free speech. We're concerned about a growing secular philosophy. We are concerned about a morality which is very far from God. And it's our duty to speak truth into that power and say these things are wrong. Can you imagine the prophet Amos if he was alive today speaking in that thundering tone into the government sitting behind me? So we've got a prophetic role. We've also got a pastoral role. Uh, there are men and women who work in the building behind who need our prayers. Indeed, all of us uh, need to pray for our politicians. Paul said that we have to pray for those in authority over us and we have to minister to them because they are human beings. Whenever you criticise a politician, remember that behind that face is not just an avatar, it's not just an image, there is a human being. But as we speak about power, and that's our theme, uh, let's remember just a couple of things. Number one, where does real power lie? Real power lies with Jesus. We read in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, that he is a lamb in the midst of the throne. That's a great image of the kingdom, the, the paradox of the kingdom, that real power lies in someone who looks as innocent as a lamb. Yes, he is a lion. The lion of the tribe of Judah has triumphed. He is that lion. But he's also the lamb, the gentle, meek, unassuming character. And it's that lamb who rules the world. I, I was reading this morning in John chapter 19, a great conversation uh, between Pilate and Jesus. And we read the, these words. Um, Pilate says, do you not know that I have the power to release you and the power to crucify you. And Jesus said, you would have no power unless it was given to you from heaven. So that's a reminder to us, isn't it, where real power lies, that it lies in the throne room. So we've got the power of sovereignty, the power of governance. We've also got the power of salvation. The lamb in the midst of the throne Remember what Revelation says, it looked as if it was slain. So there's an old uh, hymn going on in my mind just now, just now. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. And that speaks there of the cross, the cross which dominates history, the cross in which Jesus died, the one who knew no sin and yet he was made sin for us. And again, you see that on the cross, Jesus had the power to take away all our sin because the guilt, the sin that was accrued to our account, he took it. He took the punishment on our behalf. And again, from a human perspective, it doesn't look much. Jesus Christ, who was born in poverty, Jesus was raised in the you know, unknown town of Nazareth, crucified in the place of the curse. And yet Jesus is the most famous name and the most famous figure ever in the whole of history. This uh, broadcast, if you can call it that, is going out on the day of the presidential election. And we often think that there's power in the White House. 
We think that there's power in Holyrood, there's power in Downing Street, but behind it all we know that the real power is in Jesus. And so I hope and pray that this week and for the weeks ahead that we will have faith and rest in that comfort. Not only rest in it, but tell people about it. Tell people why, yes, we have fears, but we don't have an ultimate fear. Yes, we don't know what will happen in the short term, but we know what will happen in the long term. May we trust, trust in God and just be still and know that he is God. And so whenever you see this famous scene behind me on the television, please pray for the politicians and the officials. Pray for their wisdom, but pray also for their salvation and tell the good story of Jesus to others. And be kind as we spread the marvelous word of the gospel abroad. Thank you for spending some time with me today. May the Lord bless you.